Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here, and uh, man, am I excited to be out here at lunchtime today. It feels good. Man, it is, it's over 60 degrees, the sun is shining, the wind, I don't know if you guys can see that wind sock, but right now it is a probably less than 45 degree angle, so uh, we don't we don't have a lot of wind. It's not too bad, and I thought it'd be a great day to get this FMS P47 out here and put it up in the air, just get some casual laps in with it, and just have a little bit of fun. Let's get this thing in the air and see what happens. I'm out here. I'm across from the lamp post because I, I don't know if you guys can see it right. Right now it's coming out of the southwest. It was just a second ago coming almost straight out of the west. So I moved the plane over here. We're going to take off at an angle. With the flaps on it should lift right into the air with no problem. And I just heard the trees are rustling a little bit. We had a little bit of wind but not too bad. Of course the sun is going to be right in my face. But we'll get it turned around and we'll fly over this back lot. Okay, that'll cut off. She lifted right into the air. And as we come around, I'll shut the flaps off. There we go, flaps are off. And uh, we'll slow this down a little bit. I got her cranking. And as it comes by, we'll put the gear up. There they go, tucked away. I do have one of my gear doors still broken off from my accident. We just want to make some nice turns here. She's flying pretty good, pretty happy. Glad the wind is let up some. Nice roll, man. Feels good. Using the rudder to make it dive over. Coming right down the grass strip. Little bobble right there. Not too bad. You see it really does. It, it naturally wants to turn left. There a little bit. I don't know if I got a little bit of rudder mixed in or what, but... She's handling it pretty good. We haven't gone over three quarters throttle. Been maintaining right about half with the 6S 4000 in there today, guys. I am in high rates. Let's go to low rates. See if I can handle it a little better. A little less bobble. Wow, that was a really nice looking roll. Got out there a little far, guys, sorry. We get a dive in here at full throttle. Straight into the wind. It like that. We'll cut some of the throttle as we go downwind here. Climbing up. We don't want to hang out upside down with this airplane. This is the one that f the battery fell out of the tray on me. And uh, plenty of people have told me how to fix it. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. Been super busy. And you guys might have noticed I have the trailer on the truck. My kids are wanting help moving furniture after work. That's why uh, I'm flying now. Buzzing the tower over there. Getting some really crazy low passes here, about six or less feet off the ground. Trying now that I realize that I was getting so crazy low, I'm paying a little more attention to how low I am over the shed because it felt like I was really close there a couple times. One of the, the one gear door that's broke off the servo for that gear door runs all the time now. I haven't, I need to take it out of there. I was gonna disconnect it just by itself, but it's hooked up to a, a sequencer and it's got a special plug that connects several items 
all through one plug so I can't that is one bad thing about those type of plugs is you can't just unplug one item getting super low had that wingtip only about two feet off the ground there as I put her sideways just a little bit we are gonna have to land coming from over here by the shed somewhere and up the driveway it does feel like it's wanting to roll left just a little bit I don't know if it's rudder or aileron Ooh, nice and low make sure I gain some altitude before passing over the shed there right down the grass make sure I climb out before I get close to that road over there that grass area is quite a bit bigger than it looks from here but there my radio is telling me to get the gear down oh I hit them but there they go they're coming down and we'll bring it around this way and we're gonna keep a little bit of throttle but we're gonna go half flaps for the landing and then hopefully I can get it to turn it's in the gravel but I, I was able to keep it upright and I think it turns left much easier so we'll get over just a little bit and then there we go whip it around see if I can get it to follow that line don't want to taxi too fast with a tail dragger it'll start getting squirrely on me unless I'm trying to take off and get lift and of course I'm going with the wind there we go let's whip it nice the FMS P47 I think it's uh, it's either 1400 or 1500 millimeter, millimeter wingspan just loving this airplane guys so hopefully you guys enjoyed the flight today um, man with this weather I wish I had the day off from work and I could just stay out here and fly and fly and fly but I got to get back to work and then I got to help the kids tonight so probably no more flying for me today but man it was a great one I really enjoyed flying the P47 by FMS um, the IX-12 and in case you guys didn't know, this airplane has the AR620 receiver in it, which is just a park model receiver with no kind of gyro. So it's it did not assist my flight at all. It was all my thumbs. And uh, of course I switched to low rates to try and smooth it out a little bit. And um, man, just a big thank you to the Lord for being out here and enjoying life. Guys, until next time, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here. So my wing windsock took a dive it looks like. <laughs>